Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev. Today here in this tutorial, I am gonna show you how you can create a responsive thumbnail gallery in Bootstrap. No matter in whichever device you are going to view your thumbnail gallery, all the images are going to resize very beautifully. Before starting up, let me preview up the responsive thumbnail gallery which we are going to create in this tutorial. See here, this is the gallery which contains 7 images and each and every image is having a white thin border along with it and some caption related to that image. And when I will collapse my browser's window, this thumbnail gallery is going to behave responsive. See, no matter how much I will collapse my browser's window, this image gallery is going to behave responsive. So, let's get started. Before going into action, I want you to have a look on my local site folder. This folder is having 7 images. All these images I am going to use it in my thumbnail gallery. And this is an HTML document on which we are going to work. So here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamer CC. You can use any of the code editor. And the doc type I am using is HTML5. Now here I have linked up all the necessary file as CDN for bootstrap. This is latest compiled and minified CSS. This is optional theme. This is latest compiled and minified JavaScript. All this you can easily get from the official website getbootstrap.com. And this is the meta tag which means at the initial we are saying our browser to behave responsive. And on the line number 15 this is the latest and minified version of jQuery which you can get from jQuery.com. So now in the body section of this document Let's have a div with a class of container, a pre-inbuilt class in bootstrap. Let me close this div container. Now we are going to have so many divs inside divs. So let me have some comment here. End of div container. Now inside this container, we will be having our responsive thumbnail gallery. First, let me have title for our thumbnail gallery in the h3 tags. Seven wonders of the world. Now, let's insert a div with a class of row. Let's close this div. Let me have comment. End of row. Now, inside this row, I want to insert four columns. This is my first row. Let's have a div with a class of call dash md dash 3. All these classes are pre inbuilt in bootstrap. Let me close this div. It's end of call. Now what I have done is I have inserted a row as the responsive utility of bootstrap is based on the grid system. This grid system is having rows and columns inside it. What we have learned up till now is the total for row should always be 12. And I am going to have 4 images in my first row. So I will be inserting this column for the 3 more times. In the each column, we will have our image. 
on the first row i want to have four images 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 12. Now if you want to know in detail how this grid system of bootstrap work, you can watch my earlier tutorial. I do have it on my channel. Here is my channel. Now inside videos tab, you will find a video apply bootstrap make web pages responsive very easily. So in this video of mine, I have explained very well the concept of rows and columns. So now in the first column, let's have our first image. To have image, let me again insert a div with a class of thumbnail. Let's close this div thumbnail. This is end of thumbnail. Now inside this div thumbnail, let's have our image. So with the img tag, let me have my image. Let me browse the image. This is 1.jpg is the first image I want to insert. Let the alt attribute be blank for now. Let me close this image tag. Now let's have some caption for this image. Some description about this image. So to be very quick, let me copy and paste something. Just a p tag with a class of caption. I am having caption for this image. Now very quickly, let me copy this div thumbnail completely and paste it in the second column. And very quickly, let's just change the image and caption. This is 2.jpg. The second image is 2.jpg. And the caption for the second image should be this. Let me copy and paste it up. Just replace the old caption with the new one and again let me copy this thumbnail div and paste it in my third column the third image i want to have is 3.jpg and the caption for third image is machu picchu so let me have this caption Right now for the fourth image, again let me copy and paste our thumbnail div. This is 4.jpg and let's replace the caption for fourth image. Now let's save our document and let's see what we have done so far. Okay, so this is what we have done so far. I am having four images in the first row. As we have divided this first row in four columns. And in each column we have our image and this is the caption for the image. The caption is properly aligned because of this class caption. If you will not have this class caption, it will not align the caption well. And the div class thumbnail is responsible for this white thin border you can see along with the images. It also controls the width and height of the images. Now when I will collapse my browser's window this image gallery is going to behave responsive. Right. Now let's proceed further. Let us go to our editor back. Now 
what we will do is let me copy the whole junk of this code from the div class row and this is end of div class row let me copy it and paste it again so that now I can have second row for my thumbnail gallery and very quickly let's change the images and caption instead of this I want to have 5.jpg name of my image fifth image and the caption for the fifth image I want to have is copy and just replace let's have 6.jpg now name of my sixth image and let's have caption for the sixth image The seventh image I want to have is 7.jpg and the caption is the Coliseum. Let me paste this caption here. Now the last column will be empty. So let me remove this thumbnail div from here. As I'm going to have only three images on my second row. So this fourth column is empty now. Now let's save it up and let's preview. Let me refresh. Okay, in the moment I refreshed, I'm having seven images in my thumbnail gallery. And when I will collapse my browser's window, this thumbnail gallery is going to behave responsive. No matter whatever is the size of our device. One more thing guys, I would like to tell you that you can give link to this images also so that if anyone clicks on this image that will open new window for that image here it is let's see let's give a link to our first image The link I have given is first image itself and the target I want to have is new so the new window will be opened. Now let's save it up and let's reload. And now when I will click on the first image that will open new window of the first image. So you can give link to all the other images too. So this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up. Do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me. Have a good day. Bye bye.